Ever wonder why your car's fuel efficiency is dropping so fast? It's annoying to see your gas tank empty quicker than your wallet can handle. You might blame your driving habits, but what if I tell you the problem could be your car's sensors going bad? In today's video, we'll explain the five main sensors that affect your fuel efficiency, how they work, and what happens if they stop working right. Stay until the end, because the last sensor isn't just important, it's the one that could actually save you money by cutting down your gas costs. Let's get started. Sensor 5. Mass Airflow Sensor MAF Sensor The MAF sensor is placed between the air filter and the intake manifold, quietly checking how much air your engine breathes in. This information helps the ECU decide the right amount of fuel to mix with air for perfect combustion. When the MAF sensor works well, your engine breathes smoothly, your acceleration feels steady, and your fuel average stays normal. Problems start when dirt, dust, or oil builds up on the MAF sensor. The tiny wires inside can't measure airflow properly, so the ECU makes wrong calculations. If there's too much fuel, you waste money with every press of the gas pedal. If there's too little, the car hesitates, idles roughly, or even stops running. A dirty MAF sensor can reduce your fuel efficiency by up to 20% and make your car feel weak. Luckily, cleaning it is simple. Remove the intake tube to reach the MAF, disconnect the wiring plug, and carefully take out the sensor. Spray the sensor element with MAF cleaner. Never touch or scrub it. Let it air dry completely before putting it back. Cleaning costs very little, around $10 to $25 for the spray but replacing it can cost $240 to $680, including labor. Cleaning it first can save you a lot of money. Before we move on to the third sensor, take a second to like and subscribe, because every tip we share helps you save fuel and keep your car running smoothly. Now, let's talk about the fourth sensor, the one that connects your foot to the engine. Sensor four, throttle position sensor, TPS sensor. Think of the TPS as the microphone for your gas pedal. Each time you press it, the TPS sends signals to the ECU telling it how much to open the throttle plate. This helps the engine get the right amount of fuel at the right time. When it's working properly, your car accelerates smoothly, uses fuel efficiently, and feels quick to respond. But when the TPS starts to fail, the ECU gets mixed signals. This can cause uneven acceleration, random stalling, and a big drop in fuel economy, sometimes up to 30% worse mileage. You might also see the check engine light turn on. Before replacing it, try cleaning it first. Disconnect the battery to reset the ECU safely. Remove the intake pipe to reach the throttle body. Find the TPS on the side of the throttle body. Spray throttle body cleaner around the sensor and the plate, then wipe off any carbon buildup. Reconnect everything and reset the battery. Cleaning the TPS and throttle body usually costs $15 to $30 with the right cleaner. Replacing it, though, can cost around $150 to $400, depending on your car. If cleaning fixes the issue, you'll save a lot of money and bring your car's performance back to normal. Now, let's move on to the sensor that helps your engine breathe and stay efficient. Sensor 3, Oxygen Sensor, O2 Sensor. The oxygen sensor works like your car's air monitor, sitting quietly in the exhaust pipe or manifold. It checks how much oxygen is left in the exhaust gases after burning fuel. This small part keeps sending information to your ECU, helping it adjust the air and fuel mix for the best performance. When it's working properly, your engine runs smoothly, the emissions stay low, and your fuel usage stays efficient. But when the sensor starts to fail, the ECU gets mixed signals. This can make the engine run too rich, burning extra fuel, or too lean, making it hard to ignite the mix. Both problems cause you to lose more fuel and money. You may notice black smoke, fuel smells, and fewer miles per gallon. A bad O2 sensor can lower your fuel efficiency by 15 to 40 percent, depending on how damaged it is. To clean it, First, disconnect the battery, then remove the O2 sensor. Spray the tip with O2 sensor cleaner and gently brush off carbon buildup and let it dry completely before putting it back. If cleaning works, you've saved money. It usually costs under $20. But if you need a new one, expect to pay between $150 and $500, including parts and labor. 
It's a small cost that helps improve your fuel mileage. At number two is the smart sensor that keeps your engine running efficiently. Sensor two, engine coolant temperature sensor, ECT sensor. The ECT sensor is small but very important. It always checks the coolant temperature and tells the ECU if the engine is cold or warm so the fuel can be adjusted correctly. When it works well, your car heats up fast, uses fuel efficiently, and runs smoothly. If it fails, the ECU may think the engine is always cold. This causes cold start enrichment, where too much fuel keeps entering the engine. The result is hard starts, black smoke, slow performance, and wasted gas. To clean it, first disconnect the battery, find the sensor near the thermostat housing, unplug the wiring connector, remove the sensor carefully only when the engine is cool, spray the tip and connector with contact cleaner, let it dry fully before putting it back. Cleaning usually fixes wrong readings, but if the sensor still misbehaves, replacing it is the best way to make your car efficient and smooth again. Cleaning costs around $10 to $15, while replacing it usually costs $120 to $250, which is small compared to the fuel it saves. Finally, let's move on to the system's pressure controller. Sensor 1, the fuel pressure sensor. The fuel pressure sensor works like a traffic controller for your fuel system. It keeps an eye on the pressure inside the fuel rail and makes sure the injectors send the right amount of fuel to the engine. When it's working properly, your car starts smoothly, runs with steady power, and uses fuel efficiently. But when it goes bad, the ECU can't control the fuel flow correctly. Too much fuel means wasted gas, and too little causes the engine to misfire or hesitate. Over time, this also puts extra load on the fuel pump, which can lead to expensive repairs. Here's how to clean it safely. Disconnect the battery first, find the fuel rail, and locate the pressure sensor. Carefully unplug the wiring connector, gently remove the sensor from the rail, spray electrical contact cleaner on the connector pins and sensor body. Let it dry completely, then put it back properly. Cleaning usually costs only $10 to $20, while replacing it can cost between $250 and $650, including labor. Though cleaning may not always be a permanent fix, it often restores correct readings, improves fuel efficiency, and reduces strain on the fuel pump. Fixing it early not only saves fuel, but also helps you avoid bigger repair costs later on. There you go. These are five important sensors that can cost you a lot in fuel if they stop working right. Cleaning and keeping them in good shape not only saves gas, but also keeps your car running well for longer. If this helped you, hit like, subscribe for more car money saving tips, and share your sensor cleaning stories in the comments.